It's been nearly six weeks since we last had rain, and you can see how nature suffers. Our garden really looks so sad, and we can't really water anymore, and we're trying the best we can at least to keep our vegetables going. And it's just made us so much more aware even of how much we take for granted how much we take for granted in life and about how our planet works. But fortunately, they predicted some rain. And then when we saw these clouds, we were so happy. So we quickly closed all the umbrellas and brought all the furniture in and waited for the rain. And as you can see, the wind was picking up and we really had good hopes. But as so often, we're in a valley and we see thunderstorms and rain all around us and it just doesn't reach our valley. So we only had really a couple of drops for only about a minute. I filmed all of this while standing outside and I did not get wet. So we were kind of disappointed. But the temperature did drop for a couple of days, which was really nice for the garden, but also for us. And it also gave us the opportunity to finally do the hike around the lake, the lake that I've shown before, and I've been wanting to do that hike for a long time. So we had it all planned. We would take the hike and then take a picnic. So we were all packed up, but of course it took much longer than we wanted to. So by the time we arrived at the lake, it was already 7.30 and the hike is about two and a half hours. And all of us were more like, okay, maybe this is not a good idea. We should do this some other time. And then I realized there was this really cool place by the lake. It's an organic farm. Now we usually don't eat meat or very, very little, but they have really good organic burgers and the boys really wanted to try them. So we decided to try that place and it was such a pleasant surprise. We bought some ice cream for dessert and then decided to watch the sunset over the lake and it was just one of those magical evenings where you feel the world really is such a beautiful place.
I don't know about you, but to me, this summer feels like it's just flying by, like crazy fast. And sometimes it gives me this feeling of feeling rushed, like I need to make sure that I take everything out of this summer before it is gone. I feel the need to slow down. I almost want to stop the time so I can make sure this summer lasts way longer. So one way for me to experience this life in slowed down pace is to literally slow down in the way that I do things. So take more time to cook, take more time to drink a coffee, take more time to walk and be in nature and just slow down like literally. So I decided when my youngest wanted to go see a friend, I suggested we take the bike instead of the car. It's maybe about 25 kilometer ride in total. So I dropped my son off at his friend and took a different way home. And it was so nice because it made me think of my late grandfather who in the 50s and 60s worked for an insurance company in, in the countryside of the Netherlands. And he was always on his bike to visit his clients. And I can just imagine how, just like I was doing right now, he would cycle through, you know, the country on these small country roads. And then in the distance, you see the church of the next village. So you're going from village to village. He'd stop, you know, he'd stop and have a coffee with people and then continue his journey. And it made me feel very connected to him. I think in our fast-paced modern world, we tend to romanticize the old days, like we feel things are better in the old days. I definitely know that I really have this longing to live a little more slowly. And it's probably not even true. Things probably weren't even much better, and some things maybe were. But the one thing I do notice here in France is the many chapels and crosses you find everywhere in the middle of the countryside. So originally France is a very Catholic country. So I can imagine that in the old days, the farmers would spend the days out at work and they had these crosses, like you could see them on the corner of many pastures, like in the middle of a village, every small tiny village has a church. The intention behind that must have been that people took time in the middle of their busy day like the cross maybe was a place they would walk to and sit for a couple of minutes and maybe pray if they were religious or just sit with their thoughts and just lay down the work and have some reflection, introspective time. And I think in our busy world, do we really take time for that? Like we always have our phones blinging and our screens or people around us and it's just, the world is just such a busier place I think today and personally I try to stay very present and mindful I don't want to get dragged into this rush and in this hamster wheel of life and really be very present and stay connected to who I am and to who I am supposed to be in this world
the crosses kind of reminded me of that this was normal way back and it is something that I do, it's something that I've always done personally. I recently did a two month what I called a virtual alignment retreat and it was two months in a small group online where each Saturday we met up online and talked about how we could live more mindfully, more fully, how we could experience more joy in our lives. And sometimes it is so much easier to feel more fulfilled, to feel more peaceful. We tend to think we need to do big things and big changes, but we've seen in this past group that it was actually smaller things and it was just so wonderful. It was all women this time to have these women from around the world make these little changes in their life and feel so much happier and just be so much more present. So I will be doing this again two months every probably Saturday night again Paris time will come online and we'll do maybe meditation, just good talks about life, looking at your life. There's lots of small and bigger exercises that we do to get more insights about what you want to change in your life, maybe also your work or your business, what you can change and how you can change how you look at things, feel about things and talk about things and how you interact with others. And the goal is just to feel very present, mindful, calm, and happy about where you are right now and where you're going. I know it's not very tangible what we'll be doing, but I know that this will speak to the people that will need to be in the group. If you want to join us, you're very welcome. The starting date will be the end of September. I'll put all the information in the description box below and please reach out to me if you have any questions about how you can join or whether this is right for you right now. I'd be happy to look into that with you. The other thing that I really find brings me a lot of joy and also peace is taking time to cook and really think of something that I want to eat today that truly nourishes my body and soul today that I really feel like I want to eat rather than just getting it over with. You know, it's something we have to do every day and every day somebody's got to decide what we'll be eating and I am really making an effort for myself to make that more fun and turn that whole thing into an experience in itself. And I have a lot of really good cookbooks and I like just sitting down, looking at recipes. I usually change them. So I just go through the cookbooks and take some inspiration from them. And today I'm making a tuna salad. Again, that's not vegetarian. I really do realize that. Um, my boys both have friends over, so I've got a lot of mouths to feed. And yeah, I'm just sharing that little recipe with you. I'm going to end the vlog here. 
I do want to say though that I realize I haven't shown any of the building works recently. There's a good reason for that. Olaf, my husband, has a Dutch YouTube channel in which he shares all of the building works and he does that at his own pace, in his own way and I don't want to be sharing anything that he hasn't shown on his channel yet so I want to respect the way that he does his things and the way he manages his channel. So I haven't been sharing anything about that recently. I will be coming back with all of that good stuff as well. And um, the other thing is that I still have the kitchen that is finished, nearly finished, that I wanted to show you. So I've started filming a bit for that and hope to be sharing that with you very soon. For now, basically I think these vlogs are more about the daily life and the things that I'm doing <laughs> and the things that we're doing uh, our simple life here in the countryside and I still do hope that you enjoy following our journey. Thank you again so much for being here, for all of your lovely comments and it makes me feel so connected with so many like-minded souls on the planet. So thank you for being here and I will see you very soon for our next video.